hello guys welcome back to my channel in the previous session of angular we have uh, talked about the angular introduction where we have so what are the prerequisites and what are the software and what is the client uh, what is the command that need to be run before angular application so i hope that is clear if you have not watched i will paste the link in the description please go and have a watch so in this series we will create one angular application and they will understand the architecture and we understand the some some ts files some some files uh, one by one so we'll quickly go to the next slide see this ng new app that is the command to create the angular application and we'll run this command in the terminal so i will go and create one folder so inside this folder i will create my angular application so i will be using visual studio code so I'll go and choose that particular folder. See, and I will also open my terminal. So in this terminal, what was the command? This command, ng new app, right? ng new app is the application name. So I will can put the application, right? So this is just your application name. So what it will do, it will ask me some configuration. I'll say, okay, and it will ask me to add the routing or not I said okay I need a right routing but if you said no you can add the routing later with this help with this uh, command ng new routing hyphen app hyphen routing right you can add your routing file later as well and which styles you really like to use I will go with the CSS but if you're comfortable with any other please go and use that uh, or you can just you know um, this way yeah. I'll go and choose CSS so what it will take it take I think few minutes to in, import all the dependencies and all the files in your local folder so I, I have already set up one application with the same command so we'll go and quickly watch one by one without wasting the I mean without waiting for this installation so this is the default architecture that is created like e to e is the folder that is used for testing we'll ignore this folder because here we are talking for, uh, for the development and we'll create the video for testing uh, see this will be the node module here all the dependencies are installed that will be used here when you are developing your angular application so there are lots of dependency will, will be uh, used few of them and then src and then one folder app assets environment right environment one folder and there are a few files so i'll go um, and I choose these two files and we'll explain from here i'll say keep open and we'll choose this file keep open right so this is the script and under under this script you have some command that is that will be used while you know building and uh, while you start your application so these are the command and these are the command that will use you know, when you are testing your project using karma jasmine see there are two tag and dependencies and dev dependencies what are the difference and what is the dev and dev dependencies see dev dependencies are those dependencies which are used in your local environment or when you're developing your angular application in your local machine but dependencies dependencies are those which are uh, responsible for your deployment after building your application correct so this is the main and basic difference now package hyphen log dot json file is all the version that are installed on th this machine on your local particular machine right with the version is specifically defined now let's suppose if you want to upgrade or degrade the version of TypeScript, so what it, you will do, you need to change the change the uh, version package or JSON, and then run the command, this particular command, npm hyphen install and dev TypeScript with the with this uh, like 3.5.1 you would like to degrade. So mention this version right here and run this particular command in the terminal. So it will what it will do it will uh, import the this particular version 3.5.1 and also in this package.log.json it will update the see it will update the version in this file 
right so in this way you can change the version in package.log.json and in this way also you can manage your version so i hope this file uh, is clear to you i'll go and close this file and let me choose the angular.json file this is very mandatory and this is a very important file because all the configuration that are used in your project are defined here see version new projects version 1 right new project app project type is application because this is not a library there is other type which is called library but our project type is application right semantics see semantics uh, is the the configuration like uh, this command to generate the component and when you generate the component the four files is created the four files which are the those four files uh, CSS, HTML, specs, and TS file. These four files are created when you're creating the component. Now, spec file is responsible for your testing, and CSS file is responsible for your CSS. Like, if anyone or this file I don't want to be generated while generating the component, I will do this kind of setting here. So, this is the specs. Let me change it false and we'll create one component and we'll see what is different between after making true and false <clears throat> so ng g e n e r e t generate component i'll say customer 3 right so what it will do it will create one folder customer 3 and will include four files that are generated default because default skip test is false right intentionally i make it to true in order to avoid the specs file so globally that you would uh, like to do some configuration so you need to change in the angular.json file uh, i think it's taking it's taking uh, some seconds so we'll go okay now it's created no worries see these four files has been created right now i'll make it to true and will so let me save and I'll create customer phone component and also I will use some short way for creating the component like G and C is also uh, the abbreviation for generating component right so in this way you can also create the, your component I'll say angular 4 customer 4 so it will create one more folder with the customer 4 but in this time it will exclude this file spec.ts file right so I think this is created see it worked perfectly no worries. well now next uh, tag is source root source root is src that is this one is on the root that is prefix is app so this some prefix is defined but where it is used let me open the ts file that we have used see the app hyphen app is this prefix so this is the prefix that is you uh, mentioned in the selector so when you will change the prefix text here and generate the component next time so the same prefix will be added in your next time generation right now the build so there is one command ng space build for building your angular application right so that you can deploy your project now so this particular this particular builder is responsible for building your project with this uh, with the help of option and configuration so option are passed as argument in the builder so what are the options in the option there is output by uh, output path what it will do when we write the uh, run the command ng build it will export all the files in this particular location ng as a test it will create one folder disk and under the app it will export all the uh, all the build file right now index index file is here under src let me yeah this under src so this will be the main index html and under the body your company will be keep loading so this is the architecture of index.html and this is the only html file that is I mean this is the main HTML file and under, under this body your um, your your further component will be displayed that is why the index file is 
is there you can create any other file and uh, just change the uh, change the name over here main.ts file so main.ts file is also very important file because this is the entry level of angular i will explain in just a second polyfills polyfills is to support in multiple browser that is why polyfills is used tsconfig tsconfig.app.json file is also include main file and tsconfig file and is some with uh, and also some ts file like tsconfig.json to support and run your angular application right aot aot true in your production you can change it to true but in a local moment you can set set it to false there's no worries assets under assets you can mention your static files in folder like fabi icon dot uh, dot i that ico is already added now styles if you have created more css file then you can mention all the path here a script if you have added more script file then you can mention the uh, path here under the script tag right so these are the options now let's go to configuration section so under when you are running your uh, building your project in for the production so what it will do it will replace the environment.ts with the environment.prod.ts let's say the these two files in the environment folder in the environment.prod.ts the production is true but without prod file the production is false so in the production we need the production variable should be true right so that is why this particular environment.ts file is replaced with the environment.prod.ts in the production environment right now optimization is set to true that means it will uh, you know compress the files after building the project there is a budget there is also a budget in where we set some limit for the warning maximum warning and maximum error after this limit it will show the error and warning okay and uh, see there are there are a uh, few more uh, tags are there which are not necessary with your development these are related with your testing so we'll leave as it is now the default project is app because we have only one project which is in default uh, sorry application but uh, if you can add your more uh, project uh, and uh, you would like to change to some other project just change the name here so this is what all about the angular.json file uh, now we will move on the main.ts file and then we'll go to src folder and app folder See under this main.ts file, this is the entry level of Angular, and here we define that app.model will be the bootstrap. I mean, this will be the first model that will be bootstrap, or we can say that this will be the first model which will be loaded on the browser, right? Let go to the definition uh, and directly jump on the model.ts file. So here in the model.ts file, there could be more than one component. Of course, there will be more than one component because uh, in your application there will be lots of files are there right so but will compare but uh, which component will be uh, triggered first that will be defined under here right i will say app component so i need to mention here under this bootstrap so app component will be the first component that will be triggered first so in order to change some other component you need to change the name under average model.ts file right now let's go to the and see what is defined in the app component go to definition so under this file the site is app route and one statement is attached with this component and one CSS is also attached right so in this html so this is the html that it will be rendered on the browser because the component is because this particular html is attached with the first bootstrap component right And also the selector app dot route is also mentioned in the index dot stmlc. Right? In this way, the first module is app dot module, and in the app dot module, the first module is app dot component. 
so in this way the this application is work and let me see uh, there is one command ng serve sorry serve this is used to run your application and the default port is 4200 so we okay we'll wait for a few seconds it will compile and display some successful messages it is creating some bundle right uh, ng serve if there is any error it will show some error otherwise it will it will display the successful messages is building is building the bundles now it's processing okay compile successfully now it says that go and listen this particular local host on this 4200 port okay i'll go and quickly local host 4200 this the application is run and all these the HTML is written inside this component app dot component right so this is how the uh, angular application work and this is how the uh, you can change your uh, global setting inside this angular.json file and you can also change the uh, version of any of the dependencies from package.json file i hope this is all all understood uh, if you have any question please mention in the comment box i will be very happy to answer thank you for watching this video and please share and also subscribe this channel thank you so much